After enduring fierce storms, the coastal town of Colooney in Ireland faced a daunting cleanup task. The powerful winds had caused significant damage, with homes at serious risk and residents nervously sheltering indoors. Once the weather calmed, residents ventured out to assess the aftermath. Among the widespread destruction, one sight captured their attention, large trees uprooted and lying on the ground, their twisted roots exposed. While storms were not uncommon in Coluni, the scale of this event was notable. It wasn't until months later that the community realized the significance of one particular uprooted tree. Focused initially on repairing roofs and clearing roads, residents were preoccupied with the immediate aftermath of the storm. Little did they know, the fallen tree would reveal a remarkable discovery, unfolding a story that would captivate the town and beyond. The fallen beech tree in Coluni was a spectacle due to its immense size, but its significance lay hidden until a curious dog walker ventured too close. The 215-year-old tree, which had faded from the town's conversations, piqued the interest of the walker's dog, leading to a startling discovery. Upon investigating the base of the trunk, the dog walker was stunned to find something that caught his pet's attention. He immediately contacted the police, realizing the importance of what he had stumbled upon. The presence of such a large beech tree, a non-native species to Ireland, was unusual enough. However, the fact that it was lying on its side added to the intrigue. No one could have predicted what lay beneath its roots. Dr. Marion Dowd, called in to investigate, remarked, As excavations go, this was certainly an unusual situation. The town authorities, upon seeing what lay beneath the massive trunk, knew they had to bring in experts to unravel the mystery hidden beneath a fallen tree. When Marion and her team of archaeologists arrived in County Sligo, they were initially skeptical, assuming it was another case of an overenthusiastic local historian, mistaking a common find for a major discovery. However, what the Sligo Leitrim Archaeological Services SLAS, scientists unearthed beneath the fallen beech tree was genuinely significant. Given that beech trees didn't arrive in Ireland until the early 19th century, it's unlikely that whoever planted the tree was aware of the historical artifact hidden beneath it. Marion immediately took samples for examination, but the team was so engrossed in excavating the site that they didn't consider the possibility of other discoveries nearby. The skeleton they uncovered belonged to a young man aged between 17 and 20, standing at 5'10". Evidence suggested he likely worked a manual labor job, as indicated by the wear on his joints. Marion was relieved they arrived before the dog potentially carried off the valuable bones, which were found split in two, with the top half in the roots and the bottom half in the ground. However, the archaeologist was puzzled by the origin of the wounds on the body, a mystery she was determined to solve. The unidentified man discovered beneath the tree had endured a brutal attack, sustaining two stab wounds to the chest and one to his left hand, indicating a desperate attempt to flee. His remains had been buried, leading Marion to consider two possible scenarios for his fate. It appeared that whoever planted the tree in the early 19th century was unaware of the historical relic buried beneath it. Ironically, it was their actions that ultimately led to the discovery of this piece of history over two centuries later. The archaeological intrigue didn't end there. The man's burial position, with his body placed east-west and hands folded over the pelvic region, provided another clue. This peculiar project marked the beginning of Marion's private firm, Sligo Leitrim Archaeological Services, in a manner she could not have predicted. Marion explained, the upper part of the skeleton was raised into the air trapped within the root system. The lower leg bones, however, remained intact in the ground. Effectively, as the tree collapsed, it snapped the skeleton in two. Despite this, the bones remaining in the burial plot were remarkably well preserved, offering a rare glimpse into the past. Marion highlighted how the discovered remains shed light on the challenges of life over 900 years ago, during the early medieval period. 
We know that there were various conflicts and violence in this period, she explained. It was likely that the individual hailed from a farming background in one of the local settlements. After his death, his family or community would have provided him with a Christian burial. Remarkably, 800 years later, a beech tree was coincidentally planted on the same spot. To determine the age of the remains, archaeologists utilized carbon dating. Relying on the decay of carbon-14, a radioactive isotope, when the results returned, they were astonished. The medieval man had passed away nearly 1,000 years ago, between 1030 and 1200. It was speculated that he may have fallen victim to a personal enemy or been involved in a battle before receiving a Christian burial. Given the area's history, which once housed a church, further investigation may yield additional clues. As readers of the original news story chimed in with their own theories, the mystery surrounding the discovery continued to captivate imaginations. One reader pondered the age of the man, suggesting that while 17 to 25 years old might be considered young in modern times, it could have been middle-aged 1,000 years ago, when life expectancy was around 40 years. They speculated that he might have been defending his church from Norse raiders. However, another reader argued against this, stating that life expectancy averages from the past are skewed by high child mortality rates. They believe that once past infancy, healthy individuals lived lives not much shorter than today, with a 17-year-old still considered a child back then. A more bizarre theory emerged from another reader, suggesting that the man may have been punished for owning a copy of Ulysses. Marion acknowledged that her research had just begun. She mentioned the possibility of other burials in the area, despite no signs of a graveyard being found. Historical records indicate the presence of a church and possibly a graveyard in the vicinity. Marion concluded that the man's burial, with his head pointing west in a Christian fashion, suggested that his family or community had buried him. The mystery surrounding his death and burial location hinted at the potential for a larger research project in the future. Marion noted another intriguing aspect of the excavation, the man's height. Standing at 5 foot 10, he was considered quite tall for early medieval society. The discovery of the tree-dwelling medieval man has concluded with his remains now resting at the National Museum of Ireland in Dublin.